Welcome to Iron Speed Designer Video Training. Today we're going to talk about database authentication security. Once we've created an application with Iron Speed Designer, we open that application in Design View to make changes. So I'm going to go to my designer and open the recently created application which I prepared for this video. This is a an application based on the Southwind database and order management application. The application has been created without security and let's just take a look at it quickly. We have the sales rep, customers, order, order details, products and categories table. Plus we have the roles table and sales rep roles and roles for role based security. Uh, anybody can use this without logging in or any other security and so we'll secure the database we'll secure it by making it required to use to be logged in in order to use any of the fields except for the roles fields which will require that you be an account executive to use them so let's go back to our iron speed designer application and open in the tools menu the security wizard for the security wizard we'll select database security with a roles table and the table we'll be using is the sales rep table for the sales rep table we'll select simpler username and password fields for demonstration purposes we'll use just the last name and we'll make sure we assign the email field since there's email information available in this table this way any customer will be able to ask on the login page that their email or security information be emailed to them so where is my email address and now we select the roles table which are already included in this sample database there is the sales rep roles which assigns one of different any different roles to each of the sales reps and in that there will be an association with the sales rep ID of the role ID this is a many to many table which allows role based security next we'll select the requirements for each page let's select all the pages first because we want signed in users to be able to access any page that is any page except for the sales rep page the sales rep gallery page the starting page of the application everybody can get to once you get to there you can't get anywhere else um, let's set that but in addition I don't want just to be signed in in order to be able to access the roles tables I want to make sure that the roles tables let's get take all the check marks off for the roles tables the sales rep roles and the roles themselves you'll need to be an account executive so I don't want just signed in user, I want an account executive. And once we have completely selected the roles we want, let's finish and build the application with security so we can try it out. Now with security completed, we'll run the application. And here we have our opening page. If we try to add an order, we'll find we can't do that until we log in so let's log in as one of the sales reps fuller and notice that our login page allows whoever's logging in to request that their security information be emailed to them now that we see we can add an order so let's cancel that and 
let's try to access the sales rep roles table. Let's try to add a role or just show the roles table. And since we don't have full access as an account manager, we're not allowed to access this table. So let's go back, sign in again. There's a different sales rep. This time we'll pick an account manager who's King. Now we're logged in as King, so let's try looking at the sales rep roles, and now we can add roles. So let's cut off access to it if you're not an account manager. We can do that easily by going to the menus and in the menu let's configure the menus. All of our roles changing information is in the sales rep role so let's just configure the menu that lets us get there to require that we be an account manager. Whoop, cancel. Let's show all roles and we're configured for account manager. So now in order to even see the menu, we'll have to be an account manager. Let's run the application again. And now you'll notice since I'm not logged in, uh, I can't see any menus here. I can sign in, but if I sign in as Fuller and not King, I still won't be able to see the roles because I have to sign in as King in order to be able to see the roles. So that completes this video on database authentication security. Be sure to see one of the many other videos available in the video pages of our website.